Hello, my name is Will and I will be showing you how to use McDungeon. McDungeon is a interesting little program that will allow you to add dungeons to a already generated Minecraft world. So the first thing I'll show you is a world I've already created that I will use to add dungeons. It is a plains biome, which is pretty useful for showing you the difference between what a world would look like before and after. Okay, so the first thing you need to do before you start is quit Minecraft, because this will not work right if you do not do that first. Second, this is really recommended, you should definitely back up your world. Now that it, that is done, if you haven't already downloaded McDungeon, I suggest you do so. That can be done by going to Google and searching for McDungeon. So the you don't want you don't want this page because it's that's old. You want to go to the probably to their forum post on minecraft.net and then to mcdungeon.org. From here, on the front page, you'll be able to find the version you want. For Windows, you're going to want to choose Windows 64 or 32. And for Mac or Linux, you're going to want to choose Python. It's much, it's much better, but you'll need to actually install in the case of Linux, you may need to install Python. In the case of Mac OS X, you don't. Okay, so... The next thing you need to do is go to your command prompt and open it. After that, you need to open up your the window for your, wherever you've saved McDungeon and extracted it, I mean and copy the address. Then you want to paste it into the command prompt and go to the beginning of the line. You want to type cd, which is short for change directory. This will change to the folder that McDungeon is currently in. Next you want to type McDungeon Interactive. This may take a short while. It'll take longer for the first time than later times. Next, you want to type the name of your world. I always choose a simple name for these purposes because I may want to regenerate my old dungeons later, although that has yet to happen. So you have the option of adding a new world, listing the dungeons that already exist, deleting the dungeons that you've generated, which will delete the dungeon by regenerating that chunk. The last one will regenerate the dungeon, which will refill the dungeon and possibly rearrange the rooms. So we're going to choose A for add. Now we're going to choose default, which is a medium, dif medium difficulty arrangement that will give you a good ver very variety of dungeons. I have misspelled default. This is why it is good to have a simple name. Right. So the next thing is related to if this is being, this is for a view kit map. But since I don't actually have view kit, it's not relevant. Next, you want to choose the x, the dimension of x. I would choose four to seven, which will give you a range between four to seven. Same thing for y. Now this is the number of levels, how deep it is. It'll usually start at the surface and go down. So you can only have about three to six levels usually. 
Next, we want to choose how many dungeons we want. I will choose to have it generate as many as possible by choosing the negative one option. This is going to take some time, so I'm going to pause the recording while it generates the world.